the sternoclavicular joint is something that we see frequently in patients who come with a, have been in a motor vehicle accident and they sustain a acceleration, deceleration type injury or a whiplash type injury. The forces normally will be exerted greater in this area here. Now I'm not talking about the neck because as you're having an acceleration, decelerations, there's gonna be great forces in the cervical region. I'm only talking here about the sternoclavicular joint. How do I know that this is what's causing the discomfort and pain? Because now you're going to palpate. Many times you will see mild edema, but the important thing here is you're gonna be palpating. Palpating, 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 oh, it hurts. Is that where it hurts the most? I apply a little bit more pressure now. If that's where it hurts the most, oh, yeah, that's where it's hurting the most. So if that's the case, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to feel the sternoclavicular joint. I'm going to make sure that with one of my fingernails, I mark that area of the sternoclavicular joint. And once I mark that area, I will come directly with my needle, again, about a 30, 45 degree angle into that joint. The joint is very superficial, and because it's very superficial, 5 eighths of an inch needle will be more than sufficient to, uh, to get into that space. Mm -hmm.